So yeah, my second day in Zagreb. Do you know what? I love this place. It's very rustic. Uh, graffiti on the walls in some places and uh, a bit rough and ready looking. But the people are really nice and it's down to earth. Um, food's good. Drinks good. Drinks are cheap. Food's cheap. Lovely little city. Really vibrant. Plenty going on in the evenings. Uh, nightclubs, restaurants, pubs open, pretty much anything you could ask for. And I'm going to head into the old part of this city, try and grab something to eat, get myself a coffee, get settled in for the day. So I'm here at, what's the name of your bar? Amforam. Amforam, and this is, uh, and you want My name is Anna. Anna, and she runs Amforam, and she's just got me a coke uh, which is very nice and as you'll see I don't always spend my time drinking alcohol so I'm at the, at the veg market here the fruit market in Zagreb and this lovely lady um, has asked me if she could be on my video so hey, have you say something for the people tell the people something about Croatia something good hello hello you're welcome in Croatia you're welcome in Zagreb there you go <laughs> thank you very much God bless you thank you So I'm heading towards uh, Zagreb fruit and flower and everything market basically. I think there's a bit of everything. I'm going to check this place out. It's uh, quite a buzzing little place. I've had to get here early because it finishes at 12 o'clock. But it's going to be interesting to see what they've got. And on the way I'm going through this fantastic little flower market kinds of little flowers here. Yeah, some beautiful flower arrangements there. And heading towards this little market. I think today is actually um, 
pension day in Croatia because there seems to be a lot of um, elderly people about. Just a little statuette. And here we have it. Fresh fruit market in Zagreb. So hi everyone, here today I'm in uh, Zagreb market. Uh, fantastic little market, you've got to get here before 12 o'clock because um, yeah, it closes down after 12 o'clock so it's best to get here early. I don't know why it finishes at 12 but it does and if you get here after 12 all you'll find is a load of wasted vegetables and fruit on the floor that hasn't been bought. <laughs> so basically get here before 12. Morning. So this is a central uh, part of Zagreb. Got your little market stalls here, selling everything from homemade honeys to homegrown fruit. Yeah, an interesting little market. I mean, if you've got a restaurant here, then this is the place to come. Different kinds of grapes. Let's go. So, cabbage stuff, radishes, some Lolo Rosso, some Radicho. Lolo Rosso, that one is. Different kinds of salads, amazing. I'm going to get myself some grapes, aubergines. Good morning. Fantastic. Homemade chutneys. They look amazingly interesting. If only I had a bit of toast to put this honey on. Salamis and cured meats. It's a fine selection of salamis and cured meats. I've just tried some of this chili one. Absolutely amazing. Wow, fantastic. Thank you very much. Hello. Hello, how are we? We are good. Do you want to taste something? Is this from nuts? Hazelnut? Is it? Yes, nuts. Hazelnut. Is this something from heaven, did you say? Uh, hazelnuts. Uh, hazelnuts. Uh, hazelnuts. Hazelnuts. Uh, yeah. want to try it. <laughs> yeah, let me try a little bit of this. 90% rich sugar and 2% uh, uh, organic cocoa. Yep. So if you wanna. How do I try that with a, a spoon? Yeah? Yes. Try a little bit of this. For pancakes, bread, cookies, with banana. So yeah, it's a fantastic city. Um, Zab, Zagreb. This is the city centre. Um, loads going on as I say at the moment I just tried some of this hazelnut homemade hazelnut peanut butter sort of stuff <laughs> I have to say <laughs> I've got to say it wasn't very nice I do apologize to the stall holder on that one but it wasn't my cup of tea it's actually left a bit of a strange taste in my mouth so I'm gonna go and grab something to eat a uh, cup of coffee and maybe a coke cola or something just to wash it away <laughs> apart from that no lovely little city this is city center city square there's plenty of um, little market stalls and that now uh, about well 2000 in 2020 this uh, city took a an earthquake 5.5 on a Richter scale and you can still see some of the damage on the old buildings uh, you've got to be careful walking around so city center city's uh, Zagreb Cathedral Again, took a bit of a hammering during the 2020 earthquake. Lost one of its crosses, which they have, I'm glad to see, since replaced. Fantastic old architecture. Lovely buildings. 
So very common here. Some of these little things. Little barbecue, sweet corn, corn of the cob. And I'm gonna have one. Can I have one? One? One small. Small. Okay, yeah. Maroni. This one. Okay. Thank you. One tenkuna. One tenkuna, thank you. Any uh, this one here. This one's good, thank you. Salt? Yes please. Yes, yes. Oh, it's fifty, thank you. Voilà. So yeah, I'll try some of this sweet corn. Okay. Thank you very much. Voila. I did learn that voila means thank you. Quite important to learn something. Voila ciao. Voila ciao. Thank you. So I've grabbed myself a bit of barbecued sweet corn. Be rude not to. Seems to be quite a lot of this going on around here. Better to get it stuck in and try it and taste it and see what it's all about. Mm. You just know when it's going to be hot, don't you? The only thing with sweet corn, corn of the cob, call it what you like. It's one of those things that you just can't stop eating it. No matter how hot it is, you still try and take a chunk out of it. Burn yourself repeatedly. I still keep trying to have a go. As I'm doing now. I must say. I know it's the only corner of the cob, but yeah, really nice. Tenkuna. Um, about a pound, I guess. So, 400 kuna is 50 pound. So, also famous uh, Zagreb is for Nikola. Tesla, who invented anyone know what Tesla invented? I can't remember. But anyway, Tesla. Uh, reviews at the bottom, leave comments. Famous Tesla. So not 100% sure what this building is, but I thought I'd film it anyway because it's so beautiful. Look at that. Amazing architecture. So yes, so many fantastic little restaurants, bars and eateries and anything else you'd like to uh, call it in this wonderful little city of Zagreb. Busker on the street corner. And look at this amazing little street full of food. Everyone buzzing. This is your typical holiday city. You know, it's not like middle of London where everyone's rushing around trying to get the last bustle trying to get to work rat race this is far from the rat race this is chilled out Zagreb uh, Croatia Eastern Europe Wow look at that amazing little street 
little back street. I think you can find pretty much all kinds of uh, food here from different parts of the world but mainly Eastern European and I'm going to be checking out one of these restaurants soon stopping having something to eat as soon as I can find a decent spot get myself settled in grab something to eat amazing little bars I'm really looking forward to the evening because I think this little street's going to be buzzing later on <coughs> oh my god food looks amazing here absolutely amazing Indian cuisine he even got Indian restaurants here how about that smells divine absolutely divine pancakes waffles all going on in Zagreb I'll tell you even a little kebab place look I won't be having a kebab because well I don't know I might do later on but I just thought it's a bit why well, have something when you're abroad you can have at home but at the same time I guess a uh, Romanian kebab a uh, Croatian kebab is going to be closer to the real thing nothing ventured nothing gained as they say so yeah I might uh, have myself a kebab later very big on their pizzas <laughs> Wow, so much happening here. It is literally a case of just finding somewhere that I fancy somebody to eat, settling in, grab myself a meal. Curry bowl. I guess it's another Indian restaurant. Croatian style. This is absolutely unbelievable. You know, if, if you go travelling, this is the kind of place you look for. So much going on. So many little restaurants. Spoilt for choice. And quite rightly so too. Wow. I think I just landed in heaven when it comes to food, bars and... Uh, general activity when you're on holiday another little fantastic little bar here Trattoria yeah I really am excited about the evening I think it's going to be wonderful here and I'm going to be passing Shisha bar here as well yes it's all going on Olive Twist pub looks interesting I arrived yesterday and I had a quick look around the city centre and uh, you know it's like anywhere you go away and you visit a place for the first time you don't actually know what's going on until you've been there a couple of days or a few days and settled in that's when you really start to realise there are little nooks and crannies all over the place that you don't know about this looks like an interesting little place. Novo. Chips and basket meals by the look of it. Beautiful little bars. All al fresco. I don't really know how these people survive. I mean, you know, each bar next to each other and each restaurant next to each other and I think they rely mainly on the tourist trade although this is predominantly a town where people do actually live Hi, yeah. wow this is amazing a sport for choice to be honest, it's not just about finding something to eat, it's 
finding something to eat in a restaurant where I can quite happily record without offending other um, <laughs> customers. It's quite hard to find it in a busy little town like this. So coming into the city centre of old Zagreb, so many different little shops. Yeah, lots of nice little shops, interesting little shops. I um, guess this is a vintage travel shop, safari shop of some specification. My God. How interesting is that? Marlborough Classics. So the city centre of uh, Zagreb, I'm going to get myself some lunch somewhere, grab myself something to eat, get a coffee and one thing I'll tell you about Zagreb, about the zebra crossings here um, always make sure the lights green or make sure you use a zebra crossing because the um, the police don't like it and you'll get fined on the spot if you jaywalk so I think jaywalk as they say in the, in the states but generally walk across a road without using a zebra crossing and you will be fine about 30 pounds, so it is a bit of a hefty fine as well. So as you can see, this is our uh, old city. There's not like a lot of nice little restaurants and cafes and lots going on. Buzzing little town, buzzing little city. Just crossed the road without a zebra crossing. Naughty boy, slap on the wrist. So another great sunny day in Zagreb, and something happening here today. Don't quite know what it is. I think someone said it's a bike race. So yeah, uh, do a bit of footage on this. See what comes out of it. Uh, could be interesting. I can say about this city it's a very clean city There's no rubbish all over the place it's well kept well looked after um, as you can see some of these old buildings again unfortunately the, uh, the earthquake took its toll on them and they suggest that you walk more on the side of the road these old buildings did take a bit of a rattle and uh, it's a shame really, but Mother Nature has her way sometimes. As I say, this is a fantastic little city. Um, want to visit Zagreb, 
this is the this is where you'll end up city center tram lines very clean nice people good food um, cheap accommodation not too bad obviously uh, you can have whatever you want from three star to five star depending on what your budget is I'm on a low budget so everything I do is based around uh, low budget obviously if you want to splash out a little bit more uh, totally up to you you can um, like anywhere in the world you get you get what you pay for fortunately I can say at the lower end of the budget what I've got isn't too bad I'm actually quite impressed with it suits me suits you sir so I've just found a little model um, yeah model of the city model map didn't see very many of them about do you that's actually so you can find out where you're going know where you are little cathedral there as well absolute work of art